Dead and Hip Hop album review, Elza and Georgia and Muldrow, 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 yeah. uh, Zeitgeist. Before we get into the review, head over to Patreon, patreon.com slash Dead and Hip Hop. Check out exclusive content that we're dropping over there, as well as early access, a lot of other good dope stuff that you guys can check out. So go ahead over there and check that out. Make sure you guys also hit that thumbs up button, hit that like button, leave a comment, man. Uh, and all the other good stuff. That's it. Make sure you guys check out our podcast too. Here's the mice alone frames per second. Dead in sports. Elza, Detroit native, been in the game for a minute. Just dropped, uh, of course, this new project, Zeitgeist, um, that I was unaware of. B sent it to me actually, but I didn't know he was working on new stuff. I knew it was good when I listened to it. I was like, oh yeah, this is nice because it was an interesting um, uh, pairing. I didn't expect that. Okay, them two to to collab but okay. once it was happening i was like oh shit i can't wait for this to drop you know i've been i've been i've been reaping her praise for a long time mm-hmm. so i didn't expect these two to make a collab it's interesting because you know when i when i saw it too, i was like oh i, I just gotta go I, it's gonna be good and um and i liked it on first listen you know let's do it again i'm like okay it's a smooth it fits like i had it on yesterday just in the background mm-hmm. playing and you know, he'll say certain things that'll catch my ear. I'm like, oh, shit, I like that. But yeah, it was driving in this morning where I really kind of zeroed in on like the partnership between them two. And that's when I was like, oh. The way that she would like sing on some of these tracks mm-hmm. towards the end and stuff mm-hmm. like that. That's the, so her though. It's so fitting. I know, It's man. so fucking fitting. Yes, <laughs> it was. And I think it was like understanding was the one that kind of got when they had the breakdown at the end. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, there it is. There on the reprise part. Yeah, yep. Yep. yeah. That's 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 so Georgia and Muldrow, man. We know what Elza is gonna do. You know, he he's always doing his thing. But it was like this partnership, this pairing, like them coming together. Uh, and how would she fit in? Because did she do the production? Yes, everything, on everything. Everything. He like mm. it wasn't no like send this, send this back. He was actually there watching her craft these beats from scratch him writing and you know saying oh i want this to you know they was really working this album together like mm. in, in person pretty sure it was understanding when he was talking about uh having a seed and then he was talking about um people think that we're free because of a paper that was signed and mm. shit like that i was like yo man he, he's rapping yeah, he was shit, talking bro. on the black shit on, on the yeah, yeah man i was like okay that, yeah, he was that's like freed on paper shit. but we think we're free because of paper yeah 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 that that, yeah, shit. that shit you can take it very literal like the signing of you know black people freedom but you can also like you think that you're free but yeah you got it but anyway right, right. that's what he did that's yeah. what he did on the bar <laughs> that's yeah. exactly that's well exactly if what y'all he, didn't know that's what he did <laughs> <laughs> You can take it like this, but I think that's what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know any other way to I don't think it's that he can, but that's what he that, actually yeah, meant. That you should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that, that, that shit bar. was dope as hell. That was, that was definitely a standout bar for me, too. Pros and cons, that shit was dope as fuck. Oh, I think pros fucking and cons God, man. Is when, <laughs> is, when I, is when I was just like, okay. I think I, I might hit you at that point. I was yeah. like, yo. <laughs> and I never hear anybody when it comes to reviews. You was, like, point, you was like, man, this Elzai? You was like, man, this Elzai? Because I was in Florida at the time. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, so I had, I had a time to like kind of listen to it on my drive or whatever, which is why I know a lot of bars from this thing. But like, um, because I was wondering like what he was going to do with that. Mm-hmm. And then when I realized what he was doing, I was just like, yo, so he's about to do the whole con little scheme too. So I was waiting, anticipating the mm-hmm. con scheme. And then the con and scheme came, came in. You was like, I was just what? like, God damn, this dude is fucking crazy with the bars, bro. Mm-hmm. And the schemes. I, I don't know. I didn't expect him to do that. When you say pros and cons, I didn't expect for him to just use words with pro in it or words with con in it. I, I, I was expecting something else for some reason, but not that. And the beat right. changed too. Like, yeah. you know, to, to go to the, to, yeah. to the con part. Uh, I thought it was dope as well. It's one of those that for me, it just gets better the more I listen to it. 
and kind of you know really lock in on, on mm-hmm. you know what he's saying um elsa's always saying some dope shit but yeah it's just this one you know it feels like it's a little bit different you know with him like i don't i'm not gonna get everything from every song um you know as i listen to it but yeah, this it's a lot work, it's a lot to process yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying i mean he doesn't he doesn't waste a waste a, a bar. He doesn't waste a word. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's, it's it is. I remember like on some of his other projects, we said that before. Like this dude, I think Mike might have mentioned it. I meant to go back and watch that review about how like it's weird that he doesn't get the praise deserved. Like this dude is masterful with the pen, man. Like seriously, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm familiar with the uh, Georgia and Mark Murdoch. I didn't see you her stuff. That's that's what I'm saying. Oh. I don't. I can't remember. What 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 did you send me of hers before? I mean, just some of her instrumental projects. I mean, she got singing projects too, because okay. she sings and she DJs and all that stuff, yeah. as well as produce. So I yeah, meant to go listen to her. Yeah, um, she's a multi whatever. multi talent man. She's I, dope I didn't as fuck. know if it was something that that I may have heard or listened to that I'm not aware of that mm-hmm. was her. And I'm just asking y'all because it seemed like y'all are familiar with her. But once I saw that she was producing this entire project, I was like, okay, knowing what she's made before, I'm like, yeah, this shit about to be futuristic, funky, yeah. like all types of shit, man. On this, on this damn, she about to lace him with some crazy ass production, and this shit did not disappoint. I mean, coming out the gate with amnesia, he was just fucking going crazy. He did not waste a fucking bar on this <laughs> shit, man. What's the shit he said about the? I think I said that shit to you, right? I was like, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, about the souls and the sneakers? Yes, I was like, this motherfucker, yeah. man. Tried yeah. to throw my name on the dirt, but, but, but didn't realize it was... Diamonds. Uh, diamonds. I was like, yeah. this... I, he did not waste yeah, it's, it's <laughs> no crazy. fucking time on this shit, man. It's like, crazy. the way this man craft these verses and his schemes is fucking unmatched. I just be... I Listen to this shit, I'm just like, okay, this... How can you not like this on shit? On that same song, he said something like, uh, smart mouths get stabbed wounds by, by wisdom teeth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this dude is like, fucking crazy. This motherfucking man, like, man. On, on king shit. You know what I'm saying? My picture yeah. poison paralyzed, uh, picture poison dart sterilized, mm-hmm. the arrow size that isn't sterilized. Like, man, this motherfucker, dog. Like, like king shit, he did not waste the bar, man. And I like the fact that Georgia sprinkled all over this. Like, I love the vocal layering that she was doing on some of these tracks. Some of the singing shout out to Dudley too. He was she works with him as well. He was yeah, he Dudley's was on dope. here. Yeah, Dudley. Um, if you're not familiar with his work, check him out. But yeah, man, this this project was it was exactly what I would expect for these two to link up and hit how it would sound like as far as with Elzai wordplay and George's production style. Like she crafted that man some wonderful beats. Pros and cons was fucking fucking amazing. Only Elzai can do some shit like that, man. The way he can make the shit still like keep the rhyme scheme like so fucking crazy, man. Like this shit is crazy. And I love the fact that he had a song about ripping black black women. Like we need more Never MCs. Yes. Yeah. We need more MCs to appreciate and, and show love to to the black women, man. I think I think that was dope. That that remind me of Slum Village Elzai right there. Like the way he was rhyming on that joint. The way he ended that joint with compassion was fucking crazy because it went from that interlude with georgia amadro on her little spaceship shit and it just it, it just grew right into the damn compassion joint and she just singing over that shit so lovely man but it didn't sound like a closer to me for some reason i don't, I don't know and then he had an interlude right before compassion or mm-hmm. something like that so i thought that was the only the only thing that i thought was just kind of not necessarily weird but not as smooth as everything else is the way it ended but other than that man this shit Oh my God, it came together so nicely, man. Like this is a really good pairing. She really laced him with, yeah. some, with some with some dope beats for him to flow over. Gave him a, gave him a lot of space. He said something on I think it was a Strange Land where he he used new scents. Like he said, yeah, those are short change. Can't keep a two cents before it exchanges hands, cause that's a new scent. About the same as someone I knew since I started using my brain when they ain't gained any new sense. I'm like, no, 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 yeah. Yo, when he what said the that, fuck? when it said that, it, it reminded me of the uh, spaces mm-hmm. when uh, the dude was trying to tell uh, Mike about Jay's on, like quadruple entendres mm-hmm. and shit like that. Mm-hmm. That made me think. That made of that. you think about yeah, that. I was just yeah. like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, man. that's crazy. It, yeah, every time, every time he releases a fucking album, I just be like, this is why I praise this dude as one of the greatest lyricists in this game like no for sure this dude is like it's like unmatched though this shit is fucking crazy every time yeah. and i agree with ken like even though i loved it the first listen this shit fucking get better every time i listen to this shit i'm like yo That's all about this when, when amnesia kicks off and you hear them pianos and shit it's like oh man we about to go on a ride they really mm-hmm. took us on a ride also shout out to dan lish for the album cover 
the the artwork. He he, I, I follow him. I always check hmm. out his artwork, man. He he's amazing. He is fucking amazing. So that's dope that, he, that they got him to do the artwork for the album. So yes, my vinyl is on the way for this album. I know it's about to go to you, but I, before it go to you, I guess I'll pass it. I don't know if you caught the um, line on um, every moment. How like you know we go through dirt as flesh and skeletons and take the lives of our own. It's like we're in a zombie apocalypse. Oh no, I didn't man, catch that. That's dope. Bro, man, I was just like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, the, he, the 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 slower the the nine bar songs, like yeah. every moment and understanding, he was definitely speaking on man. some real shit. He'd give you some bar shit like like king shit and, and pros and cons and amnesia, then he'd just give you some real shit. And you talking about if you ever read up on the gang culture, because I always thought gang culture was just stupid. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was just like, yo, I mean, I never read up on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I was just like, why? Why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But just, but then, you know, if you read up on it, like you said, it's, it was, to, you know, it's a good, to, it started out as a good, as a good thing. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was just like, God damn, damn. man, like you don't even got. <laughs> If you if you don't read books, listen to an Elzai yeah. album. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was right. just like, God, Lee, right, man, this man. dude. I mean, I'm, I probably I heard it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I it was, didn't. It didn't click. It yeah. didn't click. Yeah. It didn't click because I mean, um, mm -hmm. because yeah, I don't know anything about that. The what's her name again? Madro. George. Yeah, George. Georgia Madro. Yeah. Yeah. I I had never heard of her. Honestly, I didn't even look very hard at the uh, the title, so I didn't know it was a collaborative project. Mm. So when I was listening to it, I was just like, this isn't the type of production that I would really expect Elzai to go over, but it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's dope. Then I started thinking, okay, this must be like a concept album because the production wasn't wasn't too similar, but it sounded like it was produced by the same person. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know it was her. But yeah, she's incredible. She has a great singing voice and her production is really mm -hmm. interesting. It's different. Y'all have already said it all at this point. Yeah, Elzai definitely wraps his ass off. I didn't catch the um the zombie thing on every moment, but I did catch the shit about, you know, I'll dance on your I'll do the I'll, I'll dance on your duvet. I'll, I'll, I'll do the I'm gonna wear Prada. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, King shit. That was God, he damn. started it off with King. That's yeah. how he started that shit off. It was just every track. Every track. I was just like, God. This man is amazing. This man. guy is Jesus really, Christ. really, 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 really rapping. I really like that shit he said about um does anybody make rap anymore like Biggie, Biggie at, at 24, 24 Nas at 94? 94. Yeah. I hear lies behind war. I was like, wow. I don't remember saying what you claim I said. I, I probably did, but I was thinking it like, yeah. why is this guy not getting the props? Like yeah. he's, he's one of the best fucking rappers rapping. And even when he's not just giving you a straight bar fest, he's right. really he, talking about serious shit. Yes. Um, there was a whole lot of black power throughout this album. Mm -hmm. I assume Georgia and Madro is black. Yes. Pros and cons was just an incredible scheme that you may not even catch on first listen. It may not pop into your brain to the second or third listen, but when it pops into your brain, which it should catch on first listen, but, <laughs> when, it, when it does click, it's like, wow. Like, and it's not corny. It's not corny at all. And it's like it's just dope. It's, it's like super think, dope. Like I, I feel like somebody else try to try to do it. It might come off a little corny. Yeah. But no, the way he was doing it, the words he were using, the words he was using, and it it was making sense. Yes. You know, how some people could just say some words that that's right. not with PR PRO. Yep. But no, the way he was constructing it made sense. It made complete in the rhyme. sense. Yep. The uh, narrative stuck. Yes. Which yes. you're right. A lot of rappers would just. You know, just look up some words. Procrastinate <laughs> programs. <laughs> I'm procrastinating programs. <laughs> you know what? I'm what? How, why? 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 Why, 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 are, you, why are you doing that? Because <laughs> yes. you can't conceptualize <laughs> my, my condoms. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Right. That's what else? Cool story, bro. Right. right. Cool story, bro. <laughs> yeah, but the way Elzai did it, you're right. It's not corny. It's yeah. really, really, really dope. Strange Land. Strange Land mm. was my shit. And that was the lead single. This shit. Mm. See, I didn't hear any singles. Yeah, me neither. That's an interesting that you say that that's a single. That was that was the because lead that was the yeah. most to me that was the most bar heavy song where it was just like him rap rapping. Whereas the majority of his album isn't that. So it's interesting that they would use that as a lead off single. Mm -hmm. Man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I know you sound real old. I'll tell you what. <laughs> what. <laughs> this motherfucker said, I get higher than a propel flyer after lighting it L, L prior to, to <laughs> see you always do that you fuck me up. Because I know, cause I know, cause I know the lyrics. I'm looking. For I know it. the lyrics. And B always it. does this. I'm looking for it because I don't need you looking for it. Just you, let man. me get my shit off. I ain't say yeah. that one. Right, Nobody right. else talk. Ain't ad libbing. But yeah, the ad libs fuck me up. Kanata lost the line. 
But be got you. I don't want be the guy. I want to. <laughs> do, I want to do it. I okay, go ahead. Go ahead. It's, my, it's my turn. <laughs> Give me. It's my turn. Give me a minute. Okay. Give me a minute. It was. It was. It was. I get higher and read along. And make sure I'm not fucking it up, B. It was something like I get higher than, a, than a propel flyer uh, after lighting the L prior to get the Holy Ghost from a hired female choir. Did I get it? Did I get it? <laughs> That shit, B. <laughs> that shit. I was like, wait, cause Tom the fuck. When I said that to y'all, I was like, why is no one replying to me? I'm like, did they listen to this damn song? There was other stuff going on. Probably yeah, I had a lot of shit going on. Tenor talk was going on, so we were getting like, ready for that. Oh my fucking god! Yes. I was like, this dude is crazy. And it wasn't even just some lyrical miracle shit. It was just the way he it places those internal rhyme schemes, and it's smooth. It's, smooth. it's perfectly on beat. And it's just, he says it so nonchalantly. Mm -hmm. This shit is fucking mind blowing. And he's been doing this shit for 20 plus years. This is, this is fucking amazing. It's and crazy. He's, and he's still amazing people. Yes. That are actually paying attention. That's yes. what's incredible about this dude. Mm -hmm. But what you just said about it being smooth, other rappers would be like, you know, I get higher than a propel fly. And like, because they want you to know right. that they work really hard right. on this rap. Right. Whereas right. L's are just, I mean, I get higher as a propel fly. It's a light in the L prior right. to catch the Holy Ghost right. from a female choir. Because it's nothing Dude. to him. Yes. Man. It's to be this incredibly dope with words <laughs> is nothing to him. Yes. Nefertiti was an incredible, incredible, incredible song. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just thought the way that they formulated that song was just really, really, really dope. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, I mean, y'all have said damn near everything. So I don't know if there's really much else for me to say, except for this is just another incredible project in Elzai's discography, except I think that this sounds very different than most of his other projects. Mm -hmm. It sounds very, yeah. very different. I would never expect Elzai to step out of the box in this manner. And I think that that was really, 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 really dope. I don't remember what song it was, but another line that popped out was when he said, uh, I destroy fam like dysfunctional marriages. <laughs> that shit was hard. Man. That shit was hard. But I feel like Elsa is one of those guys, I'm looking at the track list here. I'm, I feel like Elsa is one of those guys where you could just go through any of these songs and you can pull out seven bars mm. that are better than your favorite rapper, that are more intricate, that are more detailed than your favorite rapper. Like this guy really is one of those, like, you know, your favorite rapper's favorite rapper type mm -hmm. of deals. Yep. I think that motherfuckers really be listening to Elzai on the slide and just don't say nothing. Yeah. He said something <laughs> like that too. I, I I know I've heard Royce a million times. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've Royce, heard, Royce I've always. I've heard M and that <laughs> type of deals, but, but I feel like there's other people out here that are really, 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 and if they're not, they need to. Yeah. Cause this is, this guy is one of the best in the game, but mm -hmm. yeah, this is, this is an amazing, Amazing project. If you do a song with Elsa, he gonna take you out in them deep waters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he gonna take mm -hmm. you out there. You better, you better know how to swim. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, understanding slash understanding reprise, uh, pros and cons, Strange Land, Nefertiti, and uh, King Shit. Favorites: uh, Understanding, Pros and Cons, Amnesia, Every Moment, and give me Nefertiti. Man, look. <laughs> <laughs> give me pros and cons. Give me Nefertiti. Give me Strange Land. Give me Amnesia. Give me King Shit. I already. Oh, damn. Nothing. You sure? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. He was going to say already gone. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I got you. It's my turn. So your turn is already gone. <laughs> I'm going to go every moment. King Shit. Already gone. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, strange Pop. land and pros and cons. Elza, if you're watching, um, yeah, I, I, the, the pairing definitely caught me off guard and not in a bad way. I thought that this shit was dope. I liked how you managed to find a way to give us something new and interesting, but still in the same lane of what you do. And of course, I love the content, you know, with the black empowerment, the education that you're doing within your rhymes and everything like that is always dope. And uh, Georgia Ann Madrow, like shit, just still funky, dope, and and sultry and soulful as ever. I love that you guys like work together. I just never imagined you working with uh, a produced uh, rapper like Elza. I just it was just it just really really caught me off guard, and I think it just speaks to how incredibly talented 
and gifted you are that you were, you could just you could do this so i, I want to hear more so that's it man i, I love what you guys did here is it's a beautiful project keep up the good work elzai and georgia and um moldro moldro is it mm-hmm. you, you guys made a, a a very solid album a very like album contender of album of the year like this thing is is, is really 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 dope it's constructed really well i think y'all you guys made a, a beautiful pairing georgia and i'll definitely be checking out your stuff i know b uh, has sent me over some stuff so i'll definitely be checking you out elza my fellow taurus i didn't realize that like he said that on a, he said that on a uh, song about mm-hmm. his birthday being birthday, May 12th. Yep. i was like yep. dang that's dope bro you you killed this like like you did not miss a beat did not miss a step did not miss a bar so many bars on here that we could have could have talked about but mm-hmm. go listen to the album people go listen to the album but um nah man I, I i love this album this this is definitely gonna probably be in my top somewhere before the end of the year and just like everybody else here said man it just gets better with every listen so thank you for a really good album man that i could just have in my arsenal to listen to on a daily basis thank you bro Georgia Ann first with you. To see where you at at this point in your career and, and all the beats and the albums you have made, you didn't get you didn't make albums with Mad Lib, you didn't done stuff with Dudley. Like I have always appreciate your soulfulness, your creativeness on them beats. You deserve your flowers when it comes to these beats, because I've been listening to all your instrumental projects and everything for over 10 years. And to see you do a, a, a album with one of my damn near like one of my the favorite MCs ever and Elza is fucking crazy elza you just you never disappoint me dude like you always be sharp with the pen i've always had you high regards as one of the best mcs to do this and i still stand by that to this day like you you are you are that guy to me so and i'm glad you was able to work with her in person i think that's fucking amazing man and uh just keep up the great work and thank you thank y'all so much for this album I, like i said my vinyl is on the way so i cannot wait to get this shit keep doing whatever you're doing Elza. i'm glad you're on this one producer run right now so keep this shit up georgia amadro you know i'm always check out your stuff so keep it up georgia amadro i apologize i'm i'm sleeping he didn't send me the text apparently <laughs> i haven't heard uh your music but this definitely made me want to go listen um definitely gonna check out the the work with mad lib but um but yeah this was an incredible project i love the production that you gave elzai it was nice balance of old school funky with like this kind of futuristic sound i don't know it was very 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 interesting it was not what i would expect elzai to go over which is actually appreciated elzai dang shit i need to tell you except for i don't know how you do this i i don't i don't know how you come up with these schemes and you're able to make them just flow so flawlessly perfectly smooth effortless it's just incredible to witness but um i'm really really oh he gonna send the he gonna send the the, the text now you know what i'm saying he gonna send the text now georgia (laughs) while we doing the review you guys did an amazing job here man beats raps everything was incredible so yeah i'm interested in checking out what both of you guys do next Today, we here talking about our favorite artist's worst album. There was a moment in time on this project that should have been iconic. And I think a lot of people actually really enjoy that album. Just for me personally, it was just a little too commercial for me. And you know, this was back when you brought albums. So you's like, you know, you try to psych yourself like, oh, you know, this is a good album. You know, I spent my $15.99. It was worth it. But my, I feel like my, my favorite list goes in people's opposite order. <laughs> It was, it was at that point I was like, all right, he, he done. He ain't got it no more.